What is up YouTube? Today we're doing part 8 of the Suzuki GS500 mini buggy build. Now in this video, we're going to be entirely redesigning the front suspension of this go-kart. This is way too nice of a go-kart to have janky suspension and janky steering, so in this video we're going to be entirely redesigning this to be a whole lot better. Alright, so the main problem of this suspension right now and of the steering is, as you can see, the uh, suspension is as low as possible. I jacked this thing up and I took the shock off to show you guys. Right now, the tire is pointed almost straight at the camera, but when I lift up the tire, it's now pointing that way. So that is the problem right there. When the mo tire moves up and down, it also moves side to side. So therefore, getting the uh, the wheels to point straight does not work because when the wheels are when the suspension is high they do that when the suspension is low they do that so um, it is an, almost impossible to get the front wheels perfect so therefore we're going to redesign this and uh, fix this problem I'm going to be adding a uh, another smaller a arm right here adding a pivot point here here cutting all this off modifying this slightly to uh, allow for the tire to move straight up and down. For the past two days, I spent a total of five hours at my lathe turning these uh, pivot points. Um, I have four of these one inch outer diameter. I drilled all the way through these and then I uh, bored one inch deep on both sides to allow for these uh, three eighths inner diameter by half inch outer diameter little brass bushings to fit in the middle to fit down in there on both sides just like that and therefore this 3 8 bolt can slide in there perfectly and therefore it has no play it fits perfectly and these are going to be these four right here are going to be the top pivot for the, for the top A arm these bigger these are uh, inch and a quarter outer diameter and the inner uh, diameter bushing is going to be half inch so it's going to be using a half inch bolt and these are going to be for the bottom a arm because the bottom a arms are going to be holding all the weight of the go-kart and the top a arms are just going to keep it stable so therefore these don't have to be as big so um these are finally done I finally have all the bushings in here these are all done on the lathe it took me over five hours to, to turn all this stuff drilling these out was the biggest issue but um, these are finally done. I finally have them. Now I can focus on the other half of the uh, pivot points. Then once I get those done, then I can start focusing on redesigning and building it. All right, so I just cut these uh, quarter inch plates. These are an inch wide. These are an inch and a, uh, almost, almost an inch and a half wide. These, are, these two plates are for the bigger ones and these four plates are obviously for the smaller ones. Now, I cut them, drilled holes, now I'm ready to cut these off. I would really like to be able to uh, just bend these things up, but um, I don't have anything strong enough to bend quarter inch plates. So what I'm going to what I'm going to do is cut them with an angle grinder disc and a uh, place them and then just weld them back together.
Alright, so I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is, uh, the front suspension, I'm 90% sure that this fixed the problem. The suspension is really soft, unfortunately. As you can see, it's extremely soft, but if I ever wanted to, wanted to stiffen it up, I could, uh, always take some, like, short shocks and put them in between here and here, and that would stiffen it up a little bit, but, um, for now I'm going to leave it. It works. It looks a little weird. I mean, this part here looks fine. It's just this right here. Just It kind of looks a little goofy. looks a little weird, but who cares? I'm not going to do anything to fix it, if there even is a way to fix the look of this thing, but um, it works. It works awesome. The steering actually works great. I haven't really tested it, but the, the wheels stay straight, stay pointing straight when the... Uh, go-kart moves up and down so we fixed that problem awesome now on to the bad news this chair sucks <laughs> okay am I in the shot there we go uh, okay so the bad news is um, I was starting to reassemble this whole go-kart I put the throttle cable on something I noticed about the carburetor yeah, they're not supposed to do that, and uh, that's not because uh, they're loose on there, it's the uh, intake manifold. It broke. So, I went on eBay looking for a new one, I found a new one for the size engine, the model, the year, I found one. I only found one versus, uh, or, you know, looking for, through eBay, Amazon, the web, I only found one on eBay that would work and they were out of stock. So today I went to MR Motorcycles um, in Asheville and uh, I ordered them. It was 60 bucks for those two parts right there. The intake manifold, 60 bucks and uh, they're not going to be here until next Friday. Today is uh, Friday. They're not going to be in here till next Friday. So an entire week of not being able to have the engine running thanks to that. So, I have a pretty good idea how it happened, um, and pretty good idea who did it. It's not Ryan. Don't blame Ryan. He couldn't have done it. He's at boot camp right now. So, um, yeah. Not gonna say who it was, but, uh, uh, they cost me 60 bucks. So, anyway, I'm not gonna be able to get this engine running, unfortunately, for another week. So, um, all that means is I have a week's time to finalize and to perfect the wiring, getting everything hooked up, including the taillights, headlights, and neatening up all the wiring. Um, hopefully by uh, next video, not this video, hopefully by next video, next Sunday, we will get the engine running again. So um, very unfortunate, but oops, I broke it even more. And it fell off. Awesome! Yeah. That's what broke. These little tabs where the carburetor slides onto and it also bolts onto the engine. That's what broke. So, um, very unfortunate. It just means that, uh, it's gonna take even longer to get this engine running. Alright, so nothing ever goes to plan. I always try to uh, do as much as I can in these videos, but unfortunately, this took a lot longer than I thought it would, uh, rebuilding the whole steering, the whole front end, but uh, also the thing with the uh, intake manifold is very unfortunate, uh, but it does give me a lot of time to perfect the wiring. I was not able to do any of that in this video. Uh, yeah. I know you guys are really tired of me saying this, but we'll get it running in the next video. Hopefully. Um, something I do want to clear up is, uh, in the last video it was running poorly and some of you may be thinking that it was because the intake manifold may have been broken. The intake manifold broke when the uh, oil cover seal broke. I had to take this entire go-kart completely apart, take the engine out, put it on my desk, when I was taking the, de the engine off my desk and putting it back on, that is when 
the intake manifold broke. I didn't realize that it broke until four or five days later, so um, I wasn't able to order the part until uh, yesterday. So, yeah, um, hopefully we'll get more work done in the next video, but at least we got the steering fixed. I wasn't able to test it, but at least the wheels stay straight when the suspension moves up and down. Yes, it is very... The suspension is very soft, but um, I'm a I am able to tighten up the shocks a little bit. I didn't do bother doing that right now because why bother? I'm not going to be riding it anytime soon. So um, in the next video, we'll fi finalize the wiring and we'll also uh, fix the intake manifold, do all the wiring, and have it I shouldn't promise stuff. When I promise stuff, then, I, then it never happens. So I'm not going to promise anything. We will get more work done in the next video. I'm just going to say that. I'm going to end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more. And uh, have a nice day.